plurality and majority electoral systems. Most elections in the U.S. determine the winner based on a plurality or a majority system. Let's examine the difference. A plurality system is one in which the candidate with the most votes wins. For example, if there are four candidates in an election and one candidate gets 10 votes, one gets 25, one gets 30, and one gets 35, the candidate with 35 votes has the most and is therefore the winner. The exact percentage of votes doesn't matter. The most votes wins. A majority system requires a candidate to earn more than half of the votes to win. For example, if there are four candidates in an election and one candidate gets five votes, one gets 10, one gets 30, and one gets 55, the candidate with 55 votes wins because he won more than half of the votes. For an election in which no candidate gets a majority, another step is required. There are many ways to determine what happens next, but let's say this example has a runoff scenario in which another election occurs between the top two candidates only. Another vote is held, and the odds are that when there are only two candidates in the race, one will earn a majority and win the election. To review, a plurality electoral system only requires the winner to get more votes than any other candidate. And this is the most common electoral system in the U.S. A majority system requires the winner to earn more than half of the votes. And while this system guarantees the winning candidate has a majority of support when taking office, it can make for a more complicated process in deciding the winner.